Hi, this is Tineo from the LNA Cake Collection, a custom cake boutique and the home of the cupcake carriage. Today we're going to go over making a carrot cake recipe. It's the go-to cupcake for my clients right now in this season because of Mother's Day, Easter. Um, it's also a very popular flavor in the fall. I learned this from Ron Ben Israel and today I'm going to share this with you. Right now we're going to start with the wet ingredients. It's six eggs. And now we're going to get the three cups of sugar. We mix the sugar with the wet ingredients so that it is easily distributed throughout the cake during the baking time. One tablespoon of vanilla extract. Vanilla extract is extremely important. The high-end vanilla extract is always better. Madagascar is what we use here at the, at the boutique. Um, and it does make a very big difference in your recipe. Then we have one and a third cup of vegetable oil. And then you mix. Then you take your dry ingredients. And what I do is I take my flour, which is three cups of all-purpose flour. All-purpose flour is the go-to flour that we use here at the boutique, but it's also very important with the cake, uh, with the carrot cake recipe because it adds a very dense flavor. And what I do is I mix all my spices first together, and it's one tablespoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of salt, one tablespoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of nutmeg, one and a half teaspoons of ginger, and a half teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And you're gonna add that to your wet ingredients. And mix. And then your six cups of carrots. So for this recipe, this is for my kids. I'm not going to add the raisins and the walnuts, but you have the option to add that to your recipe. It does taste amazing when you add that. I just, my kids are not fond of it, so I'm not going to do that for this recipe. So once you're done with your batter, you're going to line your cupcake trays with cupcake liners and the batter. And in order to get them uniform the way you would see them in the bakery so that they look nice and professional is to use an ice cream scoop. This will allow you to have them all bake the same size. So you're going to fill your cupcake liners Ugh. and bake them. Now I'm going to take this and put them in my oven for about half an hour to 45 minutes. So now it's time to decorate. This is the fun part. What you're going to do is start off with your cupcake. I use a Teco 888. Um, that's the, the piping tip that I use for a nice little swirl. You're gonna start in the middle and just go around. And this is what you end up with. You have the option to cut up a cupcake and just put a little of the crumble on top, just like that, and leave it like that. Or you can make a cute little carrot topper. And what I do is I use orange satin ice. And now this is available in Michael's for the hobbyist. And what you're going to do is roll them and roll the end of the tip and just press it in like this. You're going to take your butter knife and add a little texture to each side. This is what really adds the detail. And then take your green buttercream icing. And this tip is the Cake Boss 67. I'm going to just kind of add the grass. And there you go. The perfect little carrot cake cupcake. That's it for our carrot cake cupcake. We hope you loved it. If you try this at home, don't forget to send us over your pictures. Subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.